Has this ever happened to you? Yeah, it's never happened to me either. Well, this time we're taking a look at a small UK based company called Mouse and their much anticipated Indiegogo funded limitless case because they claim it can withstand a 45 foot drop. So let's check it out. The boring but important facts first. It's made of a matte polycarbonate shell on the outside, but what really matters is on the inside with the AeroShock bumper technology. It has air pockets lined up all around the bumper that's designed to keep you safe from this. Like all nice things though, the real beauty is in the back. They offer bamboo for the Asian and you, walnut for the true hipsters, leather for the classy ones, and Kevlar for you badasses. And to me, they look and feel like the real deal. But the creme de la creme is their marble option, which will empty your pockets a bit more, but you can't put a price on installing a kitchen countertop onto your phone. Installation is simple, go in volume side first and squeeze the opposite corners in place. The buttons are covered but aren't readily obvious where they are, but they do give a good clicky feedback. A large mute rocker cutout and the camera cutout sticks down enough to keep the lens protected on flat surfaces like this. The speaker grill has been designed to actually accommodate both the iPhone 7 and 6, and I think they've done it eloquently so that it's not obvious on one or the other. A wide cutout for a lightning cable, although it will comfortably fit cables, it's quite deep and was just able to fit the classic lightning dock, although it did come loose easily. Otherwise, for a case that can apparently withstand a 45 foot drop, it's quite slim, only adding about 2 millimeters in thickness, I honestly don't notice it and actually prefer it over a naked iPhone. Thanks to the smooth but matte textured edges, it doesn't slip and slide around in the hand. And no matter what backplate you choose, it slides in and out of pockets without any issues. But of course, if you miss your pocket, don't sweat it. There's no denying that these cases are lookers though, so be prepared for all the cute girls or guys asking you for your digits. Who says digits anymore? But they're not just objects for you to drool over, they have a few tricks up their sleeve. On the back are two metal plates designed to work with a magnetic dock. But to go full hipster, you have to get their matching dock. Now this isn't a review of the dock, but in summary, installation is simple. You're free to adjust it around the ball mount, go portrait or landscape mode. But the true test is this. It actually holds its position well, even on a bumpy ride. Even if it does fall off, there's no need to worry thanks to their fancy schmancy aero shock technology. Combine that with their fairly thick bumper around the screen, let's see how well it really does. Not bad, but let's get a little more height. Now I know a lot of you rage because I do my drop tests on hardwood floors. But one, I know it's not as badass as concrete. So two, leave a comment below letting me know where you drop your iPhone. Whether that be in a parking lot, walking into a pool, at the club, or maybe while you poop. And we'll do an extreme drop test on those scenarios. And after all that, everything seems to be working fine. My fingerprint is being read, the screen is responsive, and 3D Touch works just fine. Physically, there isn't any bending happening, and I can't find any scratches or dings. I'm pleasantly surprised. What I was curious about was how all well these backs handled scratches over time. So let's test it out. Not terrible, but just like the real stuff, it will scratch up if you really try and dig into it. So keep that in mind when throwing it into pockets with keys or change. They're still offering their discounted prices over on Indiegogo right now. That's 34 for the regular styles and 49 for the fancy ass motherfucking marble. Links to everything in the description below. A combination of a stylish case and good drop protection is hard to come by, but I think Mouse nailed it here. It's slim in the hand and actually pretty comfortable to hold while looking as fly as a butterfly. Now this review is sponsored by Mouse but I got complete creative freedom and all opinions expressed are from my own brain. Now if you want to see an extreme drop test, remember to comment below where you'd like to see me drop test this case. That's it, if you love what you see and want to support me in creating more reviews, head over to our Patreon and enter our monthly giveaway. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more. I rest my case.